We are looking at Bruce Krobler. We are looking for a substantive coach. Yeah. He is in the country. Is he the right fit? Because his name has suddenly been thrown in, in different areas. Is he somebody that we can trust with that particular job? For me, yes, because he's unattached. So you might have a lot of time to visit teams when they're playing against each other in Zimbabwe or even abroad. Rather than having someone who has got a job already, Rato head coach somewhere. I don't want to be time to go and watch Greenfield playing at home when he's got another game here on the same day fair, against fair. Greenfield. Or even fair. to Wange. How is he going to go there and assess some of the players that are there? So we really need someone who is full time, even with his assistants. They are supposed to be full time. Not just going and pick from different clubs and say. So, so you, you are not really for Bruce, but you no, want. I'm, I am for Bruce. That's why I said oh. he is. And it's an attached at the moment. So obviously, he can coach the Warriors because he doesn't have a club yeah, not from Tuesday to Friday and then weekend is playing. Then next Monday, he's with the national team. No. You know what? I think I, I agree with the idea that uh, David has brought up about having a coach who's not coaching another club uh, taking over the national team. Where my question would lie, especially when it comes to Bruce Cobra, I think... Uh, he had stints coaching in South Africa. He was a, you know, at the tail end of that uh, dream team. I think he was a player coach at, at some point. I'm not sure about his coaching credentials. I think he would make a fantastic team manager for the Warriors because of his relationships, his understanding of what's happening at the high level of game. And I'm sure he can bring in some organizational structures that were lacking <laughs> there. I don't... I, I wouldn't... Shall, and shall, then also, also, you also, want to coach. And well, he's no, a coach. Yeah, I, I'm not, say, I'm not yeah. saying... He's, I'm not saying he wants to be a manager. I'm saying as much as he wants to be a coach, I think he's better suited to being a manager. I don't know. Because I think we get caught up in the <coughs> nostalgia of, you know, the jungle man and his... You know, you look at his resume as a player, the European Cups, the titles with Liverpool. is a legend there. But... In terms of his coaching pedigree, what has he done? All right, so I'm, I'm going to come think? in as well because I also need to give my, my two cents. <laughs> Bruce, we know what he's done. Played for Liverpool, yada, 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 coached certain teams. I think his most recent job was at Canada or something like that. He has coached the Warriors before. What did he achieve? So for me, it's a no. Uh, Howard, who has coached the, the Warriors that achieved? Besides Charles Mclaudi, Sandy Ma Marimo, Kalisto Pasua, so why, who else? why are you asking me a question and no, then you answer no. it? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, no, you ask me a question and you're answering it. And also, <laughs> exactly. you even, you even and gave also, me I, four, but you, you, you four different for names. One, you, for new, you talked about the teams, right? Zaga Kocha, Bruce, and what has he achieved? Exactly. And it's, and, it's the same and, thing. And, That's and, what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. You then said who has achieved. Then you went on to talk about Charles Mclaudi uh, yeah, to, uh, uh, to the uh, Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah, but uh, Inya uh, no, uh, uh, did the same. Uh, 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 did the same. Uh, uh, let's give a chance. Every coach who wants to coach the Warriors, even Brito, he was given a chance. And no, he, he was never given. He, he, he was never given a full-time job for the Warriors. He was just on interim basis. Okay, remember? And, uh, like uh, Papa Ishia Bruce, he's saying uh, let's have a coach who's not attached to any club. But then my question also is. Uh, looking at the selection process, I'm not so sure how it goes with, uh, with the Warriors' selection process, but how much can we trust a, a, a coach who comes from out there, who is not privy to what happens in mm, him, mm. who is not privy to the politics that comes into play when it comes to selection of, of these players? Aren't there also uh, internal, external interferences in terms of selection? Is he going to withstand that pressure? But maybe that could be a good thing that somebody who is not privy to that, he's going to make his selections without thinking but about the political but pressure. Tish, the do you, do you understand what yeah, you're no, saying? I understand. We need, saying we that need could be somebody. a way of getting rid of yeah. that. To say, you know what, let's have somebody who's not going to say, you know what, I'm going to pick six players from Highlanders and six players from Tennis. Somebody who's just going to come and pick players, hopefully on merit. Because that's the challenge we have with the coach exactly. who's exactly. assigned who's aligned to a Dynamos, or like we had with Brito, aligned to a... Uh, to it, it, it almost becomes like a popularity, so, like a balancing act to say... Uh, so to I, to I hear you. I hear all your arguments. It's your premier football show, The Couch, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazetian Prime, DSV Channel 294, the place to be.